Here, the question is: minimum tests required for statement coverage and branch coverage, and then these options are provided. To do that, let's first analyze the statements and draw the flowchart. Line number one and two is read P and read Q. Both are statement, so we can represent it like this. Line three is if P plus Q is greater than one hundred. Since it is a condition, we have to represent it like this. If this condition is true, line number four, print large will execute. Since it is a statement, we can represent it like this. Line number five is and if. Here, the condition for three ends, and we have to represent it like this in the flowchart. Line six is if P is greater than fifty. This is a condition. So, it will be represented like this. Line seven is print p large, and we have to put it here in the flowchart. Line eight is and if. Here, the condition ends, and we can represent it like this in the graph. With this, the flowchart is ready. Now we need. To find number of statement and branch coverage, let's first find number of statement coverage. We have three statements here, and if we use this path, we can cover all the three statements. That means we need one test case to cover all the statements. Now let's find number of test cases for branch coverage. With this test case, only one branch is covered. And to cover the other branch, we need one more test case. That means we need two test cases to cover all the branches. Therefore, answer is C. Statement coverage is one, and branch coverage is two.